Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is the last piece of Ubiquiti 1U rack mountable hardware that's back here that is going to allow us to have this UISP fiber ISP setup. So, and that is our fiber coexistence WDM filter. So this is what the device looks like. If you go back to the first video, you can see it. It's in the rack back there. But what it allows us to do, the Wavelength, wavelength Division Multiplexing Module, it allows us to have XGS, XGPON, and GPON services all coming out of the same fiber distribution system. So you've got um, 8 GPON, 8 XG, XGS GPON connections on here, and then you've got your connections that go out to your splitters out to your clients. So there's not a whole lot to it. It is a 1U device. Like I said, it's got eight XGS XG PON connectors. It's got eight G PON and then eight out to the splitters. Here's a little bit more information about all the, the wavelength range, loss, isolation, things like that. I'll leave a link to this down in the description so you can take a look at it. And then over here on the installation guide, this will give you a little bit better um, idea until we actually get to the rack. <clears throat> Excuse me. What it kind of looks like. So yes, we put the rack ears on, we rack mounted it. But then here it shows you the compatible gear. So obviously here's the UISP Fiber XGS XG GPON OLT. And then here's the UISP Fiber OLT. And you can see here that we would have the XGPON coming into this bank on the right, the standard GPON on this bank, and then everything here going out to a splitter supporting all of these different devices. So while this is not the most thrilling, exciting piece of hardware, some people actually might think that it is the most exciting piece of hardware. Uh, the hardcore uh, fiber folks may think that this is better than the router and, and any of the switches or anything else we're going to use to run this, but it's the most static thing with the least amount of configuration that we've got but it allows us to be the most efficient. Instead of having, having to have multiple distribution systems, we can put everything in one, one U device. So if you've got questions about it, let me know down below. I'll answer any questions I can. And in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and get our uh, Linux box loaded. We're gonna get UISP loaded. And we're, uh, no, I, I take that back. We've got one more video before we do that. We've got to go over all the SFP modules and all of the cabling. So that will be the next video. And then after that, we'll load up. Um, and I take that back. We've got we've got even one more. What was I thinking? So we'll have all of the, the SFP modules and the cabling. And then we'll have all of the end client devices. Because believe it or not, this is actually... Uh, UUF instant. So this will work in a router and you don't need a um, an entire device for the end user you just pop this in an existing router so we'll do cabling and connectors then we'll do cpe customer premise equipment and then we'll get into linux so if you got any questions about the wdm let me know down below if i can't answer them i'll try to point you to a resource that can. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links and a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form right there on the front page and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Come on over to community.willyhow.com, sign up and join our community. Share your, your expertise and whatever it is that you do or come over and ask questions and uh, we're building a great community. So I hope to see you there. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.